Hello, welcome to this review of Kessler, Julius Kessler, American Blended Whiskey. Um, <clears throat> has been on the market since the 1800s. Um, this uh, trademark, it's trademark smooth as silk. Um, 27.5% straight whiskeys and 72.5% grain neutral spirits, which is higher than normal because typically these American blended whiskeys will be 80 20 blend, 80% grain spirits unaged and 20% aged straight whiskey. But it's over 25% straight whiskey. Um, it's owned by Beam Suntory today, so it's it says American blended whiskey. It only says blended and bottled in Kentucky by, well, uh, Julius Kessler Company, but it's Beam Suntory, Frankfurt and Claremont, Kentucky. Anytime you see Frankfurt and Claremont, Kentucky, that's Beam Suntory. Um, Julius Kessler first distilled this fine product in America in the late 1800s. That's a true story. Julius Kessler did found the company. His facsimile, his photo, is on all the bottles. Yes, that's true. It is also true that his company was bought out many decades ago. <clears throat> There's only Kessler. This is the only Kessler. Uh, I'm not aware of any Kessler straight bourbon or Kessler straight rye, but then in the whiskey world, you might go into a liquor store and see a green label Kessler straight rye. <gasps> what is this? All right. <clears throat> it's got a Western scene, stagecoach, one guy feeding a horse. Some people up on the stagecoach wearing fancy caps, women uh, on there, uh, mostly. And then there's a guy handing somebody something else. And there's a, like a tavern with a lantern. On there. It's not sold anywhere in this town. <clears throat> I had to go to Metairie, Louisiana. Total Wine has it. This bottle was $12.99. The price has jumped up to $13.49. Dornax has it. I've not seen it at Rouse's. I've not seen it at Zapardo's, to my knowledge. Or Martin. But, I mean, it, it is around. And I bought a small bottle years ago at... Um, Aquista Pace, their liquor store. All right. It's one of the top-selling whiskeys in the United States. In the top 20, it's probably the, it's, it's the second best-selling blended whiskey. Number one is Seagram Seven Crown, which of course everybody sells. <clears throat> and number two is Kessler. Seagram Seven Crown owned by Diageo, Kessler by Beam. Suntory. Seven Crown is 75, 25, and this is 72 and a half to 27 and a half. So this is a higher ratio of straight bourbon than than uh, than um, the Seagram Seven Crown. So, like, if it was a blended Scotch, it would be you would. If it was blended Scotch, you would be saying it's um, twenty-seven and a half percent single malt whiskey. But in the United States, they're using bourbon whiskey, corn whiskey, straight corn whiskey instead of single malt whiskey. But both of them, the blended Scotch in the U.S., are using a corn grain base whiskey base whiskey difference is in in the u.s the um this thing seems to be leaning what's wrong with that thing in the u.s the um grain spirits are unaged whereas in scotland they're required to be aged in oak could be used oak it is used oak for uh doesn't have to be but for at least three years okay anyway um it's a deep amber. Is caramel color being used? Uh, yeah, most probably, just like with blended scotch, caramel color is being used. Okay. And with Canadian blended whiskey, same story, same construct. Grain spirits base in Canada has to be aged at least three years. Malt whiskey, corn whiskey, rye whiskey blended in.
at about 20%. All right. Now, uh, Beer Hound in California, Orange County, California, kept saying, Kessler, Kessler, Kessler. And I told him, I said, well, I, I reviewed this before four years ago, but I only had a small 200 milliliter bottle. He was like, you need to do it, do it again. So I relented and I, and I got this. Okay, so it's not a bad appearance. I'm going to write a written review on, um, I'm going to do a written review on uh, Total Wine and More. I've, art, I've already done a written review for uh, distiller.com. And that was four years ago. This chair is squeaky. All right. The aroma's kind of washed out. Like, so we're talking about grain neutral spirits for 72.5% of the volume, and that's what it smells like, neutral. Grain that was distilled, and it was brought, cut down to 80 proof with a tap water and has no real aroma and no flavor. And then it's spruced up with straight bourbon. Okay, which is probably Jim Beam. And this is only age two years, so it's probably two year age, Jim Beam mixed in. Two year, two year age, Jim Beam. All right, taste, cheers. There's a little nut oil that you get with these blendeds. Some um, vanilla, some wood. Everything is very mild. The body is medium and the finish is medium long. But look, like these things are um, very... Um, and with the blended scotch to a large extent. Now, when you get to like um, Johnny Walker Red, you'll get more developed flavor, but, um, or, um, of course, Buchanan's, well, it's aged 12 years, but I'm talking about the three-year aged. Um, the predominant flavor and experience is like a, uh, it is a um, grain spirits base, corn liquor base. So it's not that the grain spirits are totally neutral, but they're predominant, they're essentially neutral, but you do pick up that corn. I'll pick it up. Now, is it off-putting or um, repulsive or anything like that? It isn't any of those. It's just kind of basic and maybe you could say bland. I think, in my opinion, but we'll see in the taste challenges, but in my opinion, I think, The Seagram Seven Crown, even though it's a lower percentage of straight whiskey, it seems to have a bit more wood and character. Character. Um, but that will be shown in the blind taste test. Um, last sip. And I want to write the written. I want to do the right written review. It's kind of redundant. Do the written review. It is redundant. Uh, Nothing changed. It's there's a sort of a waxiness. It's like like wax. More than wood. Blended wax. Um I don't hate it. Four years ago I did the small bottle. Don't recall what I said about it, but it was similar to it was, you know, favorable, but um To, it, to, from my recollection, the Seagram Seven Crown is a much better product. Um, I don't know how Bill the Beer Hound's going to feel about this, but um, in the taste challenges, a lot of things can change. When you do blind taste tests against other uh, products similar, it can really um, mix things up. But um, I mean, it's okay. I'm trying to think of uh, other blended whiskeys I'd rather have. 
seemed like Bellows is better. Not the Bellows Club Whiskey, that old Beam Suntory. Jim Beam, I'm sorry, before the Suntory by the Beam brand. I think it's kind of harsh and nasty and off-putting. Um, it is all of those. Um, Kentucky Bow kind of is too like pecan oil taste. I don't know. It's comp This one's too wax. Um, Bellows is probably better. Bellows is probably better. Um, you might see it around. Um, Heaven Hill Kentucky Blended Whiskey. I'm out of that. I can't bring any more in. Um, I don't know. Heaven Hill Blended Whiskeys, even the, the Kentucky Bow, they have some really strange, bizarre flavors. And even the uh, old video from years ago where their brand representative who retired was saying, uh, ha ha. Because the guy was saying, what do you do with the bourbon that doesn't come out correct? Because, you know, sometimes you'll have bad batches or whatever. He says, ha ha, he laughed out loud. He said, we blend it off. We blend it off into our blended whiskeys. And I said, yeah, that's so noticeable when you taste them. Um, like, you know, it's like grain spirits with straight bourbon that didn't come out right. Well, it's better than wasting it. Um. I don't, I'm not going to go on and on because it's hard to keep going through each brand and say, oh, what about Ancient Age Blended? Uh, what about, which I think that's going to, what about um, 75 South? Uh, 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 what about um, T.W. Samuels? And all, I mean, it's... The whole comparison thing is marginal, but, um, I mean, if you see it for $13.49, I'd buy it. I wouldn't go over, like, $16. If it's $15.99, it's probably plausible to buy it and try it, but I wouldn't go above that. Even with this inflationary situation we're in, I, I wouldn't go above that. I mean, you can see it. Total Wine's got it listed right now at $13.49, so... Oh, uh, I think if you do buy this, though, the first one you should go up against is the Beams 8-star. Because that's a two-year aged, also from the same company. But it's an 80-20 blend now. It used to be 75-25. So 80-20. So I would say buy the Beams 8-star and see how an 80-20 from the same company goes up against a 72.5 to 27.5 uh, ratio. That could could be and would be interesting all right so the score hmm. i'm trying to be stingy so i can keep some for keep some for a review and not pour more um it's arguably good I, I swear I don't remember the score originally, but um, I think this time now, four years later, um, I feel comfortable giving it an 82. A B minus, it's like marginally good, but it could be worse. It could be an 80, like just cutting in under the uh, B minus uh, line. But uh, yeah, 82. I, I would buy it for 12.99, and literally I did buy it for 12.99 <laughs> upon request. But uh, yeah. Okay, so um, you can get a lot of blended scotches that are kind of like this, kind of, they're sort of, you can make an argument that people should buy it or could buy it, but then it's it's kind of a, 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 a stretch. Like, yeah, you could buy it, but, and then you name all the reasons why they maybe not want to buy it. But I would say it's favorable towards buying, yes. <laughs> um What's that other one that Beam got that people have, one person in particular, Robert Browning, kept going on about? They hated um, Sunny Brook. I, I wouldn't say it's any worse or better than Sunny Brook. They're comparable. I mean, Sunny Brook is not as good as you would like it to be, but it's not as bad as Robert was saying. But that, I mean, that's his opinion, and I respect that. But anyway, so, laissez-le, bon temps, a good, kind of, 
<laughs> blended bourbon, uh, blended, I'm sorry, I can't use that word bourbon, blended whiskey, and we're going to end this review by saying y'all go to Claremont or Frankfort, Kentucky and tour the Beam Centauri facilities.